Hi friends, happy Halloween. My name is Donna Munoz and I'm the author of Harley Farley's First Halloween. This is my friend Harley and we're gonna be sharing his story today about how he just wanted to go trick-or-treating with all the other kids. But if you knew a zombie wanted to go trick-or-treating with you, what would you do? Let's see what happens in our story today. Ready? My room sits at the top of the stairs. Come pay me a visit if you dare. You'll find a surprise on the top bunk bed where sleeps Harley Farley, a zombie undead. If you've ever met a zombie, you know this is true. They don't really like brains, just a donut or two. Harley loves trucks and dinos and skates. He loves chocolate ice cream, candy bars, and cakes. Nom, nom, nom. I met Harley on Halloween night under a great big moon so clear and bright. He had wandered far from home looking for a family to call his own. What do you do when you find a new friend? I have very good manners, so I invited him in. I showed him around. He loved the kitchen. That's where he ate all our fried chicken and peanut butter and jelly and cereal and toast. If my parents got mad, I'd blame it on a ghost. Wickle wheat, Harley grinned and I wiped his chin. Suddenly I had the best idea ever. I'd take him trick or treating. It was quite clever. I showed Harley our trick-or-treat plan. It was a perfect mission that I made up in our kitchen. My mom found us. She's a nice lady. But seeing a zombie made her quite crazy. Dad came to her rescue. He's such a brave guy. But seeing a zombie made him cry. When your best friend is a zombie, there's something you should know. When he scares your mom and dad, it's really time to go. But then mom stopped her crazy and dad stopped his cries. They saw that Harley was a great little zombie guy. Mom spoke so loud and clear. Little zombie, you have nothing to fear. We're sorry we were mean, but we were very scared. We've never met a zombie, but now we really care. Our trick-or-treat mission was back on again. Harley and I ran to the closet and found a costume just for him. I cut two holes for eyes and a smile that was not sad. Harley really loved it, though it was just a paper bag. Out the door we went, Mom, Dad, and I, and Harley right beside us with two holes for his eyes. His paper bag smile was not at all sad. And though he's a zombie, he didn't smell that bad. My buddies Daniel and Andrew gave Harley high fives. Nice costume, dude. Can we hang with you tonight? We visited lots of houses. Mrs. Henderson, Mr. John, Mrs. Baker, Mrs. Fields, Mr. Bennett, and Mr. Long. We saw big orange jack-o'-lanterns glowing in the night, skeletons, mummies, and witches with brooms ready for their flight. Trick or treat, we yelled. Our bags were almost full. It was time to get home. The night was almost through. I had a question that I asked with apprehension. What are we going to do with my new zombie friend? What do you mean, asked Dad? Go ahead and bring him in. Wahoo, I yelled and took my zombie's hand. Come inside, Harley Farley. Welcome to the fam. Yay! 
Mom and Dad made Harley a very comfy bed. It was on the top bunk, but he liked mine instead. So he crawled right in and I scooted over. This was officially my most favorite October. And don't tell my mom or she'll be mad. Harley and I ate candy. Shh. We snuck it from our bags. We read lots of books and Harley let out a yawn. Happy Halloween, Harley Farley. Hope you had lots of fun. And kids, I hope you had lots of fun at story time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful and safe Halloween with your families. A huge thank you to the Easton Book Festival for inviting me today. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.